yes um you're welcome to um analysis with me and i actually i'm going to give you something that you never wrapped your mind on okay this is going to blow your mind okay i just needed to pay attention to me and then watch this video till the end i'm going to do i'm going to be doing much of um, talking so you understand what i'm trying to explain and what i'm up to now over time do you know that we can establish a link between this chief justice of nigeria of the federation that is that is talking about justice um Olukayode Ariola. you know we can establish a link between him and the apc apart from the alleged meeting in paris between Asiwaju and um, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, that is um, Ariwola Ulukayode, do you know we can establish a link with a more, um, a more um, kind of convincing sort of occurrence and a more detailed sort of occurrence or evidence? Let me give it to you. Now, um, the existence of the CJN Justice Ulukayode Ariwola and um, the alleged meeting between him and Asiwaju in Paris, France, was the first um, was the first evidence that sparked up reactions, right, about the link and if he is to deliver justice, or if he is to portray or propel the deliverance of justice at the tribunals, right? Now, what was suspicious about the meeting is not wrong for the CJN to go outside the country. But what was suspicious about the meeting was the fact that the CJN, who we know is very, very healthy, was seen on a wheelchair. That particular news made the rounds over and over again, and that passed. It hasn't been looked into since then. Now, um, the next thing is this. There is an issue where, due to kind of suspicious way he left the country, there was an issue reason where members of the APC, talking about members of the Presidential Campaign Council, people like Fanny Kayode and Christos Kayamo came out to debunk the meeting to say, even the CJN came out through his spokesperson to tell us that he went abroad for treatment, which we didn't doubt. Okay, now, let's keep um, that aside, the CJN. I'll come back to him. Now, Sheima Kinde, the governor of Oyo State, let's start from there. Do you know that Sheima Kinde, the governor of Oyo State, um, is a member of the People's Democratic Party or is a governor under the PDP? Do you know? Now, and since being a member of the PDP, he is also part of the G5 governors. If you would know the G5 governors, so let me remind you in case you've forgotten. First of all, we have Okeze Ibarazo of Abia State. Then we have um, um, we have um, Ifanyi Ugwani of Enugu State. Then we have Samuel Otom of Benue State, and then we have Nyesong Wiki of um, River State. Then we have um, Sheima Kinde, of course, of Oyo State. These G5 governors got their name from their um, purported or alleged rebellious actions in the People's Democratic Party and their non compliance with um, non payment of allegiance to their principal and presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. Now, these five um, governors who call themselves the G5, have jetted out of the country a number of times before the general elections to make different or to have different meetings. It was alleged that they had said vehemently that they wouldn't pledge their support with Atiku Abubakar, who is um, just the presidential candidate of their party. It was just right for them to pitch their tent with him. But all of them refused, or five of them didn't or came out publicly to denounce allegiance for Atiku Abubakar. Wike and Makinde couldn't um, describe or disclose their own candidate over time because they felt that somehow there would be hitches somewhere. Now, they didn't disclose their candidate because the candidate they were trying to support, we believe, was from the direct opposition or the ruling party. That is the APC. I will come to that. Samuel Otom of Benway State um, confirmed his, um, his support and endorsement of Peter Obi on the 26th of December 2022 during Obi's visit uh, for, to the IDPs in Benway State, Makodi, okay, in Makodi, Benway State. Now, 
Sheima Kinde and Wiki refused to disclose their candidates. Why? We don't know. Now, um, forward to after the general elections, there was a video that made the rounds online where Governor Nasser El Rufai of Kaduna State, who is a member of the All Progressive Congress and a staunch supporter of Asiwaju, came to Port Harcourt during the commissioning, a project commissioning process by Wiki, invited, of course, by Governor Wiki, his bosom friend. And then in this commissioning process, Governor Nasser El Rufai publicly commended Wiki for his actions and reforms during the just concluded general elections. I want on behalf of our presidential candidate and our party to thank you and the good people of River State for making the right choice in voting for Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu. It is the first time since the Fourth Republic started in 1999 that PDP was unable to get 25% in River State. It shows that the people of Rivers can differentiate and they know when to vote for quality and they voted quality over political sentiments. We want to thank you for providing that leadership, Governor Wiki. That is to say that somehow Wiki worked for the APC in Port Harcourt or in River State. Now, you weren't sure about marking this stand on who to support, all right, during and after the general elections that was held few weeks or few, uh, yes, few weeks ago. Now, until yesterday, surprisingly, when um, Shei Makinde and um, Wiki visited Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu at the new apartment that he now occupies around the uh, presidential villa area at Meitama Abuja together with his vice presidential um, uh, co-running mate, Kashim Shetima. Now, don't forget, Makinde is, um, or is a PDP governor, okay? Now, I confirmed that Makinde and Wiki are somehow the first governors from the People's Democratic Party to pay allegiance or to pay a courtesy call or courtesy visit to Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Shetima. Why? Elections are over. This is the uh, government and uh, uh, we will do our best. You know giving uh, support uh, for the governance of the uh, country. So what's your answer? Can you share your expectations with us as we await the inauguration of the president? Well, uh, just like my friend has said, my brother has said, uh, national support has gone with the winner and the match. And therefore, it is uh, necessary for all Nigeria to have a match to give it necessary support for the national of Nigeria. And everybody says, We're not saying they shouldn't um, identify with success. This is politics. This is Nigerian politics. We know how these things go. Okay, the opposition governors or the governors from the opposition parties always come to pay allegiance. Final or lastly, they are always the last to call and pay allegiance to any um, president elect that is not from their party. We know this. First of all, the um, the governors of that same party first come because it's from their party. Then the opposition governors follow up. Now, does that mean that Makinde and Wiki worked and voted the APC during the general elections? Despite being from another opposition party? That's the question. I would like us to brainstorm on this. Then, um, now, these are punishable by, uh, like by party constitutions, okay? especially the constitution of the People's Democratic Party, and thus, it's viewed as in kind of indulgence in anti-party activities. Of course, that's what it is. So, sometime on the Punch publication, let us bring in Justice Ariola now. Sometime on the Punch publication of November 25th, 2022, the CJN Justice Kayode Ariola um, came out to give a caption on Punch newspaper to say, I am happy with Shei Makinde 
that he is among the G5 governors. What does that mean? Another daily, the same day, 25th November, had it that the CJN commends Wiki for his achievements and then he says he is glad Martin Day is a member of the G5. Now, question is, is the CJN supposed to identify with any party, political party, any politician, be it publicly or privately? Because the CJN is supposed to head, of course, the tribunal if any issues of electoral irregularities come up to the tribunal level. So he is not supposed to identify with any political party. He is supposed to be a kind of neutral because he is said to be an umpire when INEC failed to be able to resolve um, um, very well any issues pertaining to electoral results. Okay. So now, shouldn't the CJN maintain a sort of high level of neutrality in him? That's the first thing. Well, uh, the, the CJN, Justice Olukayo de Ariwola, should be on the watch because all eyes is on the judiciary, okay? Um, if the CJN publicly identifies with politicians, that means there are issues that require immediate, and I mean immediate attention that is that don't forget to like our videos watch till the end and don't forget to subscribe to this particular channel make sure you make this video go viral see you next time